Hey, welcome to Jack Ellen Honda. You're going to like it here. Jack Ellen Honda is where we're at again for our Tuesday test drive. Our featured dealer of the week on South Iowa in Lawrence in the heart of the Lawrence Auto Plaza. Mark is always our chauffeur for the day That's on right. Tuesday test drive. The car we're going to check out today is a 2015. That's correct. It's a 2015 model year Pilot EXL four wheel drive. Okay. And All that, of them are four wheel drives on a pilot, or some, you said a couple of them are. That's correct. You can get a two wheel drive, they're just okay. not near as popular. Because, like I was saying, when you go in with something this big, you're going to want something with four wheel drive. So, we drove the CRV about three weeks ago for a that's Tuesday correct. test drive. That's and correct. if you want to see the video, the video is online for you on our station's websites. Uh, how much more space are we looking at in an SUV like a pilot than a CRV? Quite a bit. Um, you have the third row seating in this one. Okay. And then you're going to have some extra storage space once you fold the seats down and that sort of thing. So, we are looking at some more room that this one's going to offer as opposed to the CRV. What are some of the main selling points of a Honda Pilot? Oh boy, it's going to be the ride actually, and you'll notice that when we actually take okay. it for a drive. But the ride is superb. That's why I ended up buying one. Nice. Um, the third row is another big selling point. Right. And then the actual four-wheel drive, because the CRV has the all-wheel drive, this you can actually lock it into four-wheel drive. So okay. it's actually, you can get more aggressive with it basically if you needed to. That's another big driving point of it. And just the power that you get with a full size SUV as opposed to the CRV. So you're saying you can take the pilot mudding? Is that what you're saying? If you wanted to, I wouldn't recommend it, but okay. you could, yes, because you can okay. lock it into four low if you want, just like okay. you couldn't have picked up. One of the main selling points of a Honda is the safety rating. I know it has the side curtain, That's correct. airbags. That's absolutely right. What else are we looking at in you're a pilot? You're going to have uh, the same things as in the other ones, of course, all okay. your front, side, and the nice thing is the side curtain airbags go all the way back to the third row. Oh, so good. every row That's is going to be protected from those. Um, just again, you know, top safety ratings from the side, from the front, okay. the roof strength, all kinds of different stuff. It's just a safe vehicle overall. Let's hop in it and take it for a ride. Sounds good to me. Mark says it's got a pretty smooth ride for an SUV. Absolutely, it does. It's one of the most comfortable, and that's why I ended up buying one myself, because the ride on it is superb, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, some of the features we have up here on the dash of the Honda Pilot are just like the other Honda models that we've driven. You've got the reverse camera. That's correct. You have the backup camera that's going to show up on your big 8-inch screen up here with the guidelines letting you know how close you are to the curb and that sort of thing. And with a big SUV, that would that would come in handy. Yes, it does. Okay. These are the vehicles that you really need it on. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, you have your radio display here as well. Um, you can go through a couple different screens. You can have it show your trip computer up here, just like on the CRV that you're we were looking at. your gas mileage. That's correct. You okay. have a wallpaper where you can download your own picture for the back, background there. <laughs> it's like and a then, mini computer. I like that's it. That's correct. And then that you can have that same background for this screen right here. But anyway, then you just go back to your audio display. A lot of different features, things you can put on there, basically. Can I still Bluetooth hook up my, my phone? Absolutely, you can. That's what these controls are for over here. You can sync your phone with the Pilot. And then as far as taking calls, again, you have the phone option here, take calls, receive calls, that sort of thing. And navigation. That's correct. All played through the stereo. That's correct. And okay. as far as any audio on your phone, it'll go through the, the speaker system of the vehicle as well. Okay, let's roll. Okay, let's do it. I noticed we have all the air conditioning vents for the second row, but there's also vents for the third row. That's correct. So and if actually, you have the you extra can... kids or the family or the dogs, they get right. air conditioning too. That's correct. <laughs> and you can you can actually control um, from right back behind me here on the center oh, console. You, you can control your own temperature for okay. the whole back. Once we get the Honda Pilot out on the highway, when we drove the CRV, when we drove the Fit, we drove the Accord, it had the Econ mode. That's correct. On something that is getting 20 miles a gallon on the highway, is that an option on a Pilot? Well, what it is instead, instead of an Econ mode where you can engage it, it's all automatic. It's turned a little different. It's called VCM, um, which just stands for Variable Cylinder Management. All that means to you is that while you're driving, if you're not asking for all the power that the motor can offer, uh -huh. it'll actually shut down a couple of the cylinders. So that way you're running on basically a three or a four cylinder setup as okay. opposed to all six cylinders of the vehicle. That has been one of the things as we've driven multiple Honda models over the past few weeks on our right. Tuesday test drives. One of the things I'm always impressed about is the amount of technology that is you behind these cars. You bet, absolutely. They've done a very good job of putting it in there and keeping the same price point, not raising the price. How so. do you compare a, a Pilot, a full-size SUV, sure. to other full-size SUVs? Well, it depends on which one you're looking at. A lot of the other brands have gone to, you know, it's a full-size, but it's kind of a crossover because it's more aerodynamic and that yeah. sort of thing. You know, really the Tahoe is the only full-size, right. huge box SUV left. Yeah. And so how this compares, 
Um, it compares pretty evenly. Again, it depends on what you're looking at. Some have a little bit more room, some have less room, a little bit better fuel mileage. Well, let's be honest, the Tahoe's a freaking tank. It's yes, huge, it is. right? Yeah, they I are think, monsters. Well, how in the world did somebody <laughs> drive that? But. You bet. No, they are. Um, and again, of course, that's, you know, and that's the other thing, too, is a lot of them, when you get up to this size, you have to go into that V8 world, you know. Okay. And so, yes, you get a lot of extra power. You also lose a little bit of fuel mileage. Okay. So the pilot's done a very good job. And actually, the pilot was the first truck, if you will, on or a light truck setup on Car and Driver's 10 best list. Really? And, absolutely. Okay. And so, um, so this, you, that's an Explorer. That's a. Is that's that correct. In that mode? That's correct. You'd be the Explorer. You'd be talking about the Nissan Pathfinder. Okay. Um, again, you know, you throw brands at me, I can tell you which one they're going to be comparing, basically. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so but they've done a very good job of keeping the pilot what it is, still selling well, still giving you good quality, still giving you good ride. And that's another thing, really, that helps it stand out against the competition, is that even though it's not huge, you still have a real nice, solid feel to the vehicle. Which, again, you'll experience even more as you're driving, but I'm sure you can tell from back there. But you have a good feel to the car. It doesn't feel too big or too small. It doesn't feel too light or too heavy. They've done a really good job of finding a happy medium of both worlds, basically. You're just taunting me, begging me to get in the driver's well, seat, aren't you? Know, you? I don't, and you'll see why whenever you get up here, that's for sure. And like I said, that's what caused me to buy one. Because it's just, it's a well We did our vehicle. Chinese fire drill again. Mark and I are getting pretty good at Chinese fire yeah. drill on the side of the highway, but I wanted to drive the Honda Pilot. So here we go. Should I turn on my butt air conditioner? There you go. On high, ooh, okay. <laughs> Careful now, I got a dress on. <laughs> no, that's a heated seat, so it's not. Oh, well, turn that off. No, yeah. no, okay. We don't need the heated seat today. Yeah. But I tell you what, in the winter on leather, it is a godsend. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you said you had a pilot. That's uh, correct. An 03 pilot? That's right, that you I have a 2003 Honda pilot, that's right. And when did you get it? I got it about three, actually about four months ago now. Okay. So I've had it. Yeah, a good four months. Before that, were you an SUV, truck, car person? Truck, truck person? Yeah, I had all okay. trucks before that. So know. this is still that kind of truck feel, right. but more right. space for and the family? Actually, fam. it was you know, supposed to be for my wife, but it ended up, I ended up driving it a lot because I liked it so much. But anyway, you know, she was, and that's kind of what I was talking about the pilot as far as how it's not too big, but it's not too small. Mm -hmm. And that's why she, I ended up getting one is just because she was wanting something that wasn't a full size SUV that she couldn't park or yes. she couldn't drive around, you know. They're intimidating. But she did want some something, yeah, exactly. But she did want something that was going to be comfortable, you know, that she was a little higher up. She could get around in the weather, you know, if she wanted to. So, and yeah. that's why we ended up deciding on the pilot. And that's yeah. what I got for her. So. I mean, it's we're only a mile or two down the road. Of me driving here but this is like driving a car exactly that's the nice thing about the pilot and the ridge line that customers love about it which is on this truck yeah. is that you're in like i said it's classified a full-size suv but you don't feel like you're driving one it really does no. feel like you're driving a luxury car a luxury sedan it really does know. i mean it feels yeah. nice so it says eco on the dash right now is that what you were talking that's about right. earlier that means that it's not using all six cylinders right now because you don't need the power that all six cylinders give you so you're getting right. more fuel mileage one cruising along at 65 i don't have the cruise set right but it's still on eco right so we are back from our Tuesday test drive in a 2015 Honda Pilot. I have to say one more time, Mark, when you said it drove smooth, I didn't expect it to drive that smooth. Absolutely. It was just like driving uh, the uh, Accord that we were in last week. Exactly. It exactly. was nice. And you're not the first person that said that. Yeah. Again, that's why I said that's why I bought one, because the ride just blows your mind. It's that smooth. So it has the third row seats. Show me yes. how quick and easy those are to lay down, would Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Well, first we have the power tailgate, so I can get that from the key. Oh, good. Hold As that. I'm walking up to the car, that's just right. the key. Absolutely. I like that That'll a lot. get that out of your way. And then for the seats, okay. it's pretty simple. You can just grab them. Oh, seriously, you have to see this. There's a handle. That's all he did. He just pulled the handle and boom, there it went. So I can just see this. Absolutely. Wow, that's way easier than most. And, and there's then, a ton of room. Exactly. Then you have a lot oh, of room yeah. there. And then okay. on top of that, the seats in front of that can fold down. You have even more room on top of okay. that. And then you've got storage down in here as well for okay. things that you might need to put in there. Yep. So they give you a lot of flexibility with Jumper space. cables, whatever. That's exactly. where my space is for That's that. Right. Spare is underneath out of curiosity. That's correct. Okay. It is. And you have your access inside of here. Okay. Spare is underneath. Then you have your hitch behind this. They all come with a hitch already built into the vehicle. So it's just behind this cover. So if you don't use it, you don't have to have a hitch taken out there. You do have it covered up. And oh, whenever okay. you need it, this will just pop off. You can already see it's already cut out for it. You just pop it off. 
and you have your hitch ready to go. I'm not probably going to be hauling a horse trailer or anything. Right, no, it's going to be a 5,000 pound payload. Carrying so, what? Uh, you could have a small trailer with maybe some mowers on it, okay. a small boat, that sort of thing. You know, maybe a trailer with a four wheeler or a dirt bike. That's okay. Sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. This absolutely. button here is the That's shutting? right. That'll shut it for you. That's correct. That's awesome. There's no heave ho. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> trying to get it shut. Well, that's cool. And then you also have this will come up separately as well. Oh, that's right. right. So, so if you just need a couple, throw in a couple quick exactly. things in it. Exactly. You just want to chuck something in the back and then okay. keep on going. Literally one finger. That was pretty darn easy. There you go. <laughs> 2015 Honda Pilot. You'll find it at Jack Elena Honda, our featured dealer of the week. You want to ask for Mark, and That's Mark's going to tell right. you how to get a hold of him. That's right. You can just give me a call at 785-843-0550. Make sure you ask for Mark. Look us up online. I'm online as well. You can chat with us on our website. We look forward to hearing from you.